And now to Carmel Valley, where firefighters are gaining ground on the Tassajara wildfire. Action News reporter Bianca Beltran was there today. She joins us live with a look at what's going on behind the scenes. That's right, Aaron. The fire is at 65% containment. They've made quite a bit of progress over the last couple of days, and a big part of what keeps them going is the support that they receive from prisoners out in the field and back at their base camp. Six months ago, we're, you know, sitting on the block, and now they're out there on the hill fighting fires. Brad King is one of over two dozen prisoners working in the mobile kitchen at the base camp for the Tassajara fire. He's on coffee duty, providing a cup of joe and some humor for the men and women working to battle the fire in Carmel Valley. If you have to be in, in prison, it's, it's the best thing you could do because you're actually working every day and you get to meet a lot, of, a lot of different people who you get to talk to. It's better than the mundane of every day being in jail, that's for sure. Over 250 inmates are out in the hills working alongside firefighters to put out the flames and clean up the mess. In peak fire season, CAL FIRE uses inmate crews like the Gabilan Conservation Camp in Soledad to stretch resources. When there's multiple fires going on, when we look at critical resources, it allows us to free up maybe some of the other resources to get to the next fire or to, to rest for, for uh, to get ready for the next fire. They can stay behind and finish up that last part of the work. The inmates are paid one dollar an hour for their time assisting the fire crews. Behind the scenes, they take care of everything from laundry to setting up camp. Corey Gray says he's proud to help however he can. To be out here, you know, trying to, you know, work as an emergency team, it really helps out, you know, trying to give back to society and show that, you know, some of us are really trying. Now, this crew says that they've been on the road for over 50 days, traveling from fire to fire, just like many of the fire crews out there today. And they say that in that time, they've prepared and served over 100,000 meals in that time. And uh, that's that number is still counting. Yeah, it shows you just how busy this fire season has been. Bianca, thank you. We do want to deliver some good news that comes out of the confusion and fog of fighting such large fires. On Sunday, we told you about how our own Action News 8 reporter, Caitlin Conrad, was told by firefighters that her home was one of several destroyed in the Tassajara blaze. Well, it turns out the news of the home's demise was premature. Caitlin and her husband were allowed to go back to their home yesterday, and they were pleasantly surprised to see that they had been misinformed. The fire came very close to the home, scorched the yard around it, but the house with everything inside is still standing.